What was your fuck this shit, I'm out situation or experience? Worked for a military and police tactical store while I was a reservist. They had huge issues with my military commitments eating into their staffing requirements. No benefits, pay was meh, and only provided one 15-minute break per 8-9 to nine hour shift. The store was open 7 days per week, I had to work 6 days per week. After about 90 days I'd had enough and left. When at a yearly review a former boss hyped up giving me a 10 cents raise and praised how good of a team leader I was. When I asked about the management position that had opened up at a store I was sent to fix, she told me she couldn't stand to lose me permanently to another store. I turned in my two-week notice and moved on. My boss took me into her office one day. She told me I was a great worker and she was giving me a 25 cent an hour raise. I went out and told one of my co-workers, and she told me everyone got that raise. We all made minimum wage, and it had just gone up 25 cents. When I was 19 I got a job at one of those industrial uniform places where they do all manner of textile good rentals slash cleaning. On my first day I was put on a blanket folding machine and pretty much told good luck red flag. One. The machine kept jamming, and they wanted me to crawl into the back of it with absolutely no lockout tag out red flag. 2. After I finished all the work they gave me in like 2.5 hours they acted both surprised and concerned, and I noticed nobody else on the line seemed to move with any sort of purpose like lazy zombies red flag. 3. They then stuck me with two old ladies to fold rags, seriously. And when I showed up these ladies suddenly felt like they didn't need to contribute and just sat there chatting red flag. For come lunchtime I told the HR lady this wasn't for me and left. All that for $7 per hour. abso fucking lutely not. My time W target. When my team leader was forced out of his job. All the other team leaders just piled onto him. It started as jokes, and then they gradually started reporting him for mistakes that they made, finding ways to pin it on him. Later heard that they wanted to appoint me as his replacement, but spread his TL responsibilities, but let me run the area he was in charge of, and not pay me more. TLDR, person I liked was forced out, I would have been screwed for less money in a shitty job. Broke a few vertebrae on a job, changed careers, started working AA bank as a teller. Back pain was pretty frequent so started using a lifted chair that was available, so I would be eye level with customers. Came back from lunch break one day, chair was gone. Asked managers about it, they said my job description required me to stand put in my two weeks the next day. I had transferred to the pizza chain in that town a few days before. This was also the new GM's first restaurant management position, but he'd been there like two mo's. So I'm working and it was a Veterans Day free lunch special, so OFC were busy. Manager says he'll be there to help. He doesn't show up until after 5 p.m. That evening we ran out of cheese, veggie topping, and dry dough mix. A pizza chain that runs out of cheese and dough. I saw how bad that location was and left the next day. I worked at KFC and had something similar happen. I was only 16 years old and me and my, also 16 years, co-worker were left alone on a busy Saturday night with no cook while my manager sat outside the restaurant with her boyfriend. This store needed at least five people to run smoothly when we were busy. We ran out of everything all of our sides and our chicken by about 530 and basically spent a few hours trying to run the whole restaurant, plus drive through while cooking everything. During that time I kept trying to get my manager to come in, and she refused, and yelled at me for not being a team player. I finished the night so my co-worker wouldn't be more screwed, and then quit and never came back. My uncle was in the nursing home. I went to visit him, and he seemed a little sleepy. There was a TV in that room, and I figured that I would watch some TV while I waited for him to wake up. Another resident who will remain nameless slowly walks into the room, stops and stands still. At first, I thought he wanted my chair. I saw and smelled that I was mistaken. That resident shut the fuck out of himself. A stream of feces of was sliding down his sweatpants. I left and as I drove home, 
I made a solemn oath to myself. I will not live to be that old. We were doing a jam session slash open mic night at a pub, and one of the other people who was attending didn't like my friends and my rendition of the song, so he started playing and singing over us the way he thought it should be performed. Asshat thought he was being helpful too. About to get laid and she said I'm drunk. She had one drink for some clarity, and she was all over me acting drunk. I knew she had one drink because I pay attention to that kind of thing, as soon as I was noping out she magically became sober. I'd like to understand what that was all about, but it spooked me, and I wrote out with a severe amount of discomfort and bewilderment. Mixed signals like that are gross, I think she wanted me to take advantage of her, but the weird part was she was sober. That alone warranted me running away. It was my grandfather's funeral. I was in really bad relationship at the time. My grandmother was hysterical, asking God why he didn't take her too, and that she wanted to be in the coffin with him. I thought damn that's real love, and that there was no way I felt that about my BF at that time. So I left him. I've been with my current husband for seven years. I'd get in the coffin with him, 